together and we make really good things happen. My name is Carola Lauk. I am the program director for South Dakota EMS for Children. Our program's been around for approximately 27 years in the state of South Dakota. And with that, our primary goal is to reduce childhood death and disability by educating folks through safety and injury prevention programs. So I work really closely with your team of graphic designers and Zade Gray. And we did start it out with the Pediatric Readiness Award. The Pediatric Readiness Award, that's for EMS agencies um, who are basically committed and dedicated to pediatric excellence. They have all of the equipment and all of our agencies do have that. It's just an application that they go through. And then that logo is basically kind of their logo of honor that they have in their truck. Our communication aids are phenomenal. They are in every hospital, every ambulance service. They are spread out through clinics across the state of South Dakota. And what they are is they're designed for kids um, and or adults that have either a language barrier or they have a need to basically communicate. And maybe it's fear that they can't communicate or again, the language barrier or children who have special needs. And they're pictures that kind of it's kind of a point, ask the question and kind of go from there. It's not fine until you're four foot nine, which in essence means that you need to be four foot nine before you can transition from a booster seat to a regular car seat belt. And it's a fun little program. One of the things we did is we wanted an adult coloring page in there. And if you want to see some amazing work, and we developed a nurse's badge card. So that badge basically goes on their ID card that they have. Three super, super thin um, badges that have normal vital signs. They have a glass cow coma score. They have how to give a fluid bolus, how to recognize, again, child abuse and all of those things. Um, we sent out over 4,000 of these, which every nurse in the state of South Dakota in the emergency department received these. We also developed a um, school emergency guidelines. Um, it's basically algorithm based. And with those algorithms that we have, if you have a, uh, like a bee sting, something like that. How do you take care of a bee sting? How do you recognize anaphylaxis? How do you take care of it? When do you call 911? We worked together with uh, the print shop, Zaid and his uh, gentleman, and developed a, a gorgeous, I think it is, this is just a phenomenal uh, logo. We actually um, were, uh, our hearts were tugged, so we chose two of them rather than just the one. And um, our HEC group, which is again, the Heartland EMS for Children Coalition, includes South Dakota, North Dakota, Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas, and Minnesota. Uh, we do have a nonprofit organization um, that falls within uh, EMS for Children, and that nonprofit organization is Alliance Benefiting Children of South Dakota. He developed again um, three logos for us to take a look at, and we didn't choose just one logo, we chose all three. Um, because when you look at letterhead, when you look at if you want to embroider something on a jacket, when you want to uh, put it on a billing or something like that, all three logos are completely appropriate or Don't Pump Your Melon program that we have. And that program is um, an initiative that um, encourages kids to ride uh, safely and to wear bicycle helmets. We just now have new labels designed. Um, it's a safety message. It's a Don't Pump Your Melon and Wear a Helmet. And we are um, painstakingly, if you will, putting stickers on every helmet that we have um, to remind kids that um, it's a good thing to wear your helmet. I'm very, very grateful. Um, I'm grateful for their professionalism, their creativity, their skills, uh, and their genuine efforts to, uh, they're giving back and they're making a difference. And without them, my motto is to make a difference. And without them, um, we can't make that difference a lot of times. It's phenomenal, it really is, it's a great partnership.